Well, anyway, I just uh, made the little video regarding the, uh, the the house that's flying the Trump banner, and I you have to clear up something um, before you watch the video. If you do, is that I implied that he had done the defacing of the um, Hillary Clinton. Um, ban um, Hillary Clinton banner and I certainly should never have done that um, he's definitely not guilty of it because nobody's said anything that I know of and um, the reference to the Ber letters to the Berkshire Eagle it, it could have been him it could have not been I don't know so just keep that in mind <laughs> and um, hopefully you'll find the video it is funny which is the point of it I'm sitting here right now in Tiringham, Massachusetts, which just recently earned the distinction of the town most likely to vote Democratic in this year's presidential election. And as I'm stopping along this lovely and very um, upscale road, I happen to notice something that caught my eye. It was rather shocking. It's a Hillary Clinton sign placed right on the road sign, which has been defaced. So let's let's go take a look at it. Yes, it says uh, here. You can see behind me, and it says Clinton Kane, and it has some red um, things on it. Okay, now here's the end of that story. Now, just just down the road, and from what I understand, this is the home of a fellow who had been writing letters to the Berkshire Eagle stating that his lawn signs in support of Donald Trump had been defaced. And I think he even made the threat that he was going to deface a Clinton sign. Now, in response to his road signs, being um, destroyed. He's put this huge banner up on the top of his house. His house just happens to be a very handsome home with beautiful views in the back. So that is uh, the revenge of the elite in Tiringham, neighbor versus neighbor. Very unusual situation in this ultra conservative town full of very sophisticated Yankees, old school money, and you know, very, very wealthy families. So, Yo Yo Ma lives on this street. So, it's a very nice street and having a little interior battle.